Revelation 6 seal, the great earthquake, the sun becoming dark, the, the moon becoming blood, the stars of heaven falling to the earth. That's what we're going to be talking about in this video. Thank you again for joining me. This is Ursulon with End Times Bible Hope. Um, in this video, we're going to be talking about the sixth seal of Revelation. And the sixth seal picks up again on where the fifth seal left off, where the martyrs are crying out for judgment and to be avenged. Revelation 6, verse 10. And they cried with a loud voice, saying, How long, O Lord, holy and true, dost thou not judge and avenge our blood on them that dwell on the earth? The response to this is the sixth seal, where we see signs are given. The signs are given to announce the upcoming judgment and also to announce the fall of the papal system because these martyrs died under the papal system. And I beheld when he had opened the sixth seal and lo, there was a great earthquake. This earthquake is seen in the Lisbon earthquake. Lisbon earthquake of 1755. Series of earthquakes that occurred on the morning of November 1st, 1755, causing serious damage to the port city of Lisbon Port and killing an estimated 60,000 people in Lisbon alone. The day of the earthquake had dawned like any other on like any other All Saints Day in Lisbon. The Atlantic Ocean is quiet, seismically speaking, but that morning the plates skipped and released as much energy as 32,000 Hiroshima bombs. Revelation 6 verse 12, And the sun became black as sackcloth of hair, and the moon became as blood. We interpret these signs literally because within these verses, the John describes this as using the word as. It is a figurative, figurative analogy. So we, instead of applying a symbol, the symbol is already applied for us, and we can use this to apply it literally. On the afternoon of May 18, 1780, the sky was a strange yellowish color and the clouds seemed dark and heavy. The next morning, the sun came up deep red and barely visible through a haze until by noon there was midnight darkness and people could not see. The first half of the night was hideously dark and no ray of light from moon or star could penetrate the darkness until after midnight when a blood red moon emerged. The Boston Independent Chronicle proclaimed a portentous omen of the wrath of heaven and vengeance denounced against the land, the immediate harbinger of the, of the last day when the sun shall be darkened and the moon shall not give her light. In another article, and we read, in Salem, the Reverend Nathaniel Whitaker thundered the dark day was a rebuke from the Almighty for the sins of the congregation. Some wrung their hands and listened for the sound of trumpets announcing judgment day revelation 6 verse 13 and the stars of heaven fell unto the earth even as a fig tree casteth her untimely figs when she is shaken of a mighty wind this sign was to announce the upcoming judgment in 1844 in the pre-dawn hours of november 12 1833 the sky over north america seemed to explode with falling stars unlike anything anyone had ever seen before and visible over the entire continent. An Illinois newspaper reported the very heavens seemed ablaze. An Alabama newspaper described thousands of luminous bodies shooting across the firmament in every direction. Observers in Boston, Boston estimated that there were over 72,000 falling stars visible per hour during the remarkable celestial storm. Many of those who witnessed it interpreted as a sign of the biblical end times, remembering the words of the Gospel of St. Mark, and the stars of heaven shall fall, and the powers that are in the heavens shall be shaken. The judgment began in 1844. God was announcing through this sign that the judgment was going to begin, giving this as a response to the, to the martyrs in the fifth seal crying out for judgment. We are currently living in between this sign and the very next sign where heaven is departed as a scroll. So we are currently living within this short time period now. And the heaven departed as a scroll when it rolled together and every mountain and island were moved out of their places. And the kings of the earth and the great men and the rich men and the chief captains and the mighty men and every bondman and every freeman hid themselves in the dens 
and in the rocks of the mountains and said to the mountains and rocks, fall on us, hide us from the face of him that sitteth on the throne and from the wrath of the lamb for the great day of his wrath has come and who shall be able to stand? This sign is the final sign before the sign of man, the son of man comes. We know that we are living in this sign because these set of verses describe what happens during the seventh plague at the end of time, right before Jesus comes. And there were voices and thunders and lightnings and there was a great earthquake, such as what not since men were upon the earth. So mighty an earthquake and so great and every island fled away and the mountains were not found. And the armies which were in heaven followed him upon white horses clothed in, in fine linen, white and clean. Come and gather yourselves together unto the supper of the great God, that ye may eat the flesh of kings, the flesh of captains, and the flesh of mighty men, and the flesh of horses, and of, and of them that sit on them, and all the flesh of all men, both free and bond. So here we see in these last sets of signs, the heaven departing as a scroll, the, the mountains and islands being thrown away. We see this in the seventh plague of Revelation. Um, we see with respect that the, the mighty men, the rich men, the, the slaves and the bond and the free men are all screaming to hide themselves from the one that sits upon the throne of God, Jesus. These are the final signs that will fall upon mankind and those who are wicked and lost are hiding themselves from the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. We are living in these final sets of verses, friends. Jesus is coming soon. And we will get into the question is asked at the end of this, who shall be able to stand? And in the next video, we will answer that question. Thank you and God bless. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this YouTube channel with your friends. Thank you.